All right, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to our 1230 conference call with Daquan Hardy. As always, please raise your hand and I will call on you. We will start with Tyler Donahue. Good afternoon, Daquan. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great. Um, good to hear from you. I, I, we haven't talked to you, or I haven't talked to you in a while. Um, I'm curious what the playing time last season did for your confidence going into this past off season and, and how that's kind of carried over for you into year three? Uh, well, last year, um, I started a nickel by like week three, I believe. And I wasn't getting that many reps because, you know, the coaches hadn't had that much trust in me. But as the trust built and I got better familiar with the system, um, I just believe it enhanced my like my plan speed and things to recognize like as the opposing team is running at me. Rich Scarcella. Good afternoon, Daquan. How are you? I'm good, sir. How are you? I'm well, thank you. Daquan, what, what do you what do you see on tape, film of the Auburn wide receivers and of their passing game? Um, I believe they got a, a very good uh, trio of receivers. We got um, they they can uh, throw vertical, a very vertical threat team, and you know their the quarterback Bo Nix is, is good as well too. So. I'm uh, spec really excited about this matchup coming up. Mark Brennan. Daquan, what are some of the keys to playing that nickel position? And uh, was it an adjustment for you to, to, to do those, all the different things that are required of that position? Thanks. Um, honestly, I believe like one of the, the strengths of playing the nickel position is just like maintaining your eyes and being locked into your keys and what your reads are. It was a little um, different from going to outside corner because you normally got like one receiver or two receivers. But once you're in that nickel position, it uh, could be almost three receivers like coming at you. So I just say like just plant, reading your keys and just making sure you got good eyes. Travis Johnson. Daquan, I just wanted to follow up on the on the film study question um what are I mean how do you guys figure out you know what you're going to look at when you have a new coaching staff uh teams maybe played two games uh, against teams who, who aren't going to bring as much talent as you guys probably um we try to watch uh like older film of them like the receivers themselves and you know what they did in previous offenses and we just try to find like certain clues and things to help us tip and get a head start for the game David Eckert hey Daquan um, I'm just wondering, you know, obviously familiarity with the defense and, and earning that trust from the staff is important for everybody. But for you, apart from that, what do you think has been the biggest key to, you know, or to, to growing as a player and maybe earning a little bit of uh, more of that playing time? Thanks. Um, I would just say, like, like you mentioned, like the trust, the trust factor is one of the biggest things, you know, you gotta, you gotta have trust in the coaches staff, and the coaches have to trust you to go out there and, and, do your assignment and just make plays. Chris Heidel. Hey, Shaquan. Thanks for taking my question. Uh, just talk about this Saturday night prime time, white out. Everybody's going to be there at the stadium. It hasn't been full for a very long time since the, you know, I know you guys played Ball State last week, but, you know, what's it like going to be for your, for your experience for prime time? Um, I'm expecting almost like a couple years ago, like Michigan, when we played Michigan in the white out, you know, it's an exciting environment, just, uh, everybody thrilled to be there and just be ready to play football. New bias, Wilborn. Yo, Daquan, man, thanks for the time, brother. Hope you're doing well, man. Good, sir. Man, respect, man. You ain't got to call me sir, man. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, that old yeah. But um, seriously, I know one and know. I know you guys got to do that, but it's an SEC opponent coming into your house. Does that mean anything to you? particularly because you don't see these guys often? Um, not necessarily. We take every every team we play with the same approach. You know, we study these guys up and make sure we're ready to go by Saturday. So, Daniel Gallon. Hey, Daquan. Uh, you mentioned earning the trust of the coaching staff. How did you do that, you know, over the past year, you know, getting into the lineup? Um, I just believe I had a, a, a good spring and a good camp and, you know, just combining them two together. I believe the coaches saw what they wanted to see out of me and gave me the role. Joe Giuliano. Hey, Daquan. Um, was your uh, game 
time on Saturday. Was that the most snaps you had played in your career? And what was it like to be able to contribute uh, to, to the win last Saturday? Um, I'm not sure exactly if that's if that's um, the most snaps I ever played, but I would just say it was just I was just happy to be out there with my guys and, you know, just making plays and just having fun. That's that's really what football is all about, just having fun. So I was just excited to be out there, honestly. Donnie Collins. Hey, Quan, a big key for you guys this year is, has been that you guys have, have been able to force a bunch of turnovers and you've, you've been in the middle of that. Is there a knack to being around the football on, on defense? How, how, how do you do that? How, how, how do you seem to always be around the ball? And is, is that something you take a lot of pride in? I mean, of course, but uh, like my position is like, I'm almost always going to be around the ball in like corner or like some plays or like on the other side of the hash or whatever. But yeah, it's just, you know, just one of our coaches or our, 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 uh, offseason goals was just get more turnovers. Last year we had four in total, but this year we have four already. So I think we're doing a very good job of that. And, you know, we just, well, like Coach Terry says, like once you get one, the more come, they're almost like contagious. So. Justin Morgenstein. Hey, Daquan, thank you for doing this today. Uh, you know, obviously, you guys are a really nice combination of, you know, talent and experience in the secondary. How do guys like Tariq, Jaquan, Joey, you know, kind of elevate your play every day? I mean, they just, like, during the offseason, I would get with those guys almost every day. They would, like, teach me small things to, to tweak or adjust, and it's just been helping me and the team as a whole, you know, just getting better, so. Tyler Donahue. Daquan, you, you were a freshman with Marquise Wilson a couple of years ago. You've seen him play a lot at cornerback on the practice field in games. Can you tell me what it's like covering him now that he's playing receiver and, and what, what it actually took from what you saw from the play both sides of the ball? Well, um, I, um, honestly, since I'm in like the nickel position, he plays like the X and Z receiver. I barely – um, watch Marquise, but it's just when when I do get the chance, it's just it's just uh, funny to see because like that's one of my one of my best friends on the team. And it's just I'm just happy for him that he gets to um, you know just go out there and do what he wants uh, as a, being a receiver or playing the corner. So I'm just all around excited for him. Mark Brennan. James Franklin has pointed a lot to that uh, state championship game that you played in as kind of opening the staff's eyes. Um, did you feel at that time that you were really playing to try to earn that Penn State offer that you eventually got? Uh, not at the time when I was playing that game. I always just think about um, winning that game and just going home as a state championship at the time. But um, during that, well, like uh, later weeks after that, I was in my mind about um, trying to become a Penn State, going to come to Penn State. Rich Garcella. Daquan, in what ways is Sean Clifford a different quarterback uh, than, than he was last year? What do you see from him on the practice field? Um, I just say his, his decision making. You know, we had um, with the new offense, we got a, a full offseason, and I feel like that helped us a lot. His decision making has, has increased a lot. You know, uh, a big emphasis is no turnovers, and we have uh, accumulated zero turnovers so far. So he's been doing good. Daniel Gallon. Hey, Daquan, uh, can you walk us through your interception on Saturday, kind of what you saw um, and kind of how, I guess, how that play developed on your end? Um, it was just, honestly, it was just like um, film study. You know, I, I knew um, so named a bunch said they liked to run that corner. And so I, like, anticipated the receiver running the corner. I just undercut the route and just tried to make a play. Joe Giuliano. Daquan, what's it like to have the kind of depth that you guys have in the secondary? Uh, it's awesome. Like, you know, if one of us uh, unfortunately goes down, we got a, another person who's able to step up and make the same uh, plays as the other one. Tobias Wilborn? What type of conversations have you had with some of the younger guys, say like a Parker Washington, some of the guys who haven't experienced a way out and how are you guys just kind of going about just preparing for what that experience is going to be? Uh, I just tell them guys, you know, at the end of the day, it's football, you know, just go out there, execute, have fun and just be yourselves. That's, that's all it really is. You know, 
they, people try to um, make the whiteout very special, which it is. But at the end of the day, it's just football. Just go out there and play your game and have fun. Time for a few more. Tyler Donahue. Daniel, can you tell us about the addition of a couple of transfer guys in, in your room, uh, AJ and John? And, and, you know, we've seen them both on the field. How have they impacted the competition? Um, I've, I believe they made everyone uh, work harder and just compete better for those spots. You know, you know, it's not never easy to just go out there and just try to try to get a spot. But I, do, I believe they made us compete harder and brought value to our room. Mark Brennan. What's it like for a guy your size uh, having to play up by the line of scrimmage at times? And how much do you enjoy when they let you uh, get after the passer a little bit? Uh, actually, you know, I'm a, I'm a little guy, but I refer to myself as big. So I actually enjoy being around the line of scrimmage and playing big boy ball and just trying to go, go get the quarterback. Any other questions for Daquan? New bias will play. Well, I guess speaking of guys who will get the quarterback, man, what have you seen this year over these first two games with Jesse Lucetta, uh, making interceptions, switching back and forth between linebacker and the line? What have you noticed with him? Man, it's, it's been awesome to see his growth and, you know, at the DN and at Mike, at Mike Backer. It's, it's just been awesome to see him make plays and, and do what he's capable of doing. Last question, Tyler Donahue. Yeah, another guy you came in with a couple of years ago, Taquan Roberson. We got our first chance to see him, you know, get some extensive action through a touchdown. What have you seen from him on the practice field to, to put himself in a spot to be successful at quarterback for Penn State if they need him? I just been seeing him making all the plays he, he uh, needs to make. You know, he's he's been doing a very good, very good job at practice, you know, leading his receivers, throwing them open. So I believe his time is coming.